So it's been really fun this week watching stories of AJ heading back to school. You might know he graduated from Apple Valley High School and had a chance to catch up with some teachers there. There's Mr. Tidwell. Uh -huh. Yeah, conversations <laughs> with some students there. And this morning, he's sharing part of the school that really means so much to you. Yeah, because, you know, usually in competition, you try to take down your opponent, mm -hmm. right? But at Apple Valley, the school is going above and beyond to try to build up the competition. Right. Speech and debate program built on what they call a tradition of excellence, a tradition mm -hmm. that I was actually lucky enough to come up through. So I headed back to my alma mater to see how two of my former coaches and the current staff are fundraising now to help other schools. You've retired. What do you remember about Apple Valley High School from your time here? Speech and debate. Well, um... I mean, you are... You are the founder. I mean, you are. You made this what it is. <laughs> no, wait. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> we'll get to you in a okay, second. We'll right. get to you. Right. We'll get to you in a second. <laughs> Good goodness um, gracious! Some things never change. <laughs> While Pam and Joe Wyckoff have retired from forensics, you'll see their imprint all over AVHS. Look no further than the wall. When those pictures started going up on the wall and people see them, it's about lifting others up. They say, "I see that person." Yeah. That person looks like me. Yeah. If that person did it, then I can do it too. In order to get on that wall, you have to know what forensics really is. It dates back to Greek competitions where people would perform in public forums. Those forums are now classrooms. You see, I wasn't always a willing audience member. Where students have the choice to compete in different categories, yeah. from drama and humorous interpretation. <gasps> then making a movie! To exemporaneous speaking and original oratory. In the world that we live in uh, now where People use words the wrong way. Language is used the wrong way. And so that whole idea of paying tribute to the language and oral communication is really critical. Hello and welcome. Just ask Imfaz Muhammad Ali. In her first year, she made it to the national tournament to compete with more than 6,000 other students from nearly 1,500 high schools and one in humorous interpretation. The part about giving voice is like our team theme is like kind of like advocacy and giving voice to things or people and um, voice to the voiceless. Right, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, that's something that I really care about. Pam and Joe are trying to help people find and share their voice. It's not the activity that gets the funding in the schools. And there are teachers without resources. There are kids who are desperate to be a part of this, and they don't have the funding. So now these retirees have turned into fundraisers. Takes away the barriers of registration fees and transportation. And um, we are allowing them to get their foot in the door to have the program that we want others to have. We figured if our kids love it this much, and there's that much of a demand out there for it, then the least we could do would be to give back. Give back, pay it forward, and focus on what's really important. That the activity of speech is not about the trophies and the tournaments that you have when you're actually in high school. Mm -hmm. It's about the real final rounds that happen way after high school is done. The real final rounds, Joe, what does that mean? Real final round is that's when you get that's when you you've got skin in the game. What's gonna happen later when you have a college interview? or when there's a scholarship on the line, or when there's a social situation where you being able to keep composure, handling winning and losing in life, that's the real final round when you can look back and say speech was good for me. Yeah. Debate was good for me. That's why I did it mm -hmm. right there because there's a transfer that can make my life better. The school has produced nearly 100 state champions in speech. Many of those students went on to the national tournament and more importantly have developed communication skills, critical thinking, empathy. So far, Joe and Pam have helped to raise more than $65,000. That money will go into a fund to help schools across the country either start a speech and debate program or to keep it. If you would like to donate, we're going to work to get more information on our website, wccocom slash links. Mm. So awesome to go back and see yeah. them. And I Joe mean, is just full of... <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I mean, no better spokesperson right here for the speech and debate <laughs> program from Apple Valley High School. But I'll bet you MFAS is getting on that wall. Um, oh, she's up there. She will be okay. up there. I mean, if, if you win, mm -hmm. if you go, if you place, if you're a national finalist mm -hmm. in the final round you get up on the wall. Okay. So she will be up on the wall once she graduates. Guess who else is on the wall? Just, just saying. I made up on the saying. wall too. I made sure that my picture was not included. <laughs> but in we the story. all knew you were going to be on yeah, that wall. On the wall. Yeah.